There continues to be some confusion around some of today's advanced driver assist systems and their parts, the, the tools and equipment required, and even the names. And that's why I love this document from General Motors. This particular document is broken down into three parts. It goes through each of the different advanced driver assistance systems that are available on GM vehicles, um, including uh, the, the super, the name, the marketing name of it. So for example, Super Cruise, the RPO or regular production option on that vehicle, and the description of that. So here you can see what Super Cruise is. Um, each of the different advanced driver assistance systems from General Motors has its unique name, the description of the system and any abbreviations that are associated with it. So as I'm going through, whether that be General Motors repair information, whether I'm having a conversation with a customer, whether I'm having a conversation with an insurer, we can all get on the same page so we know exactly what we're talking about when I say lane change alert with side blind zone alert. We can all know and be familiar with what exactly it is we're talking about. The second part of the document deals with the component location. So again, a lot of these systems are tied together, so they're sharing cameras and they're sharing sensors, and that's what this particular section is designed for. So the front view uh, camera in the windshield, for example, it lets us know where it's located. Uh, near, it's near the rear view mirror. Uh, there's a bracket that secures with adhesive to the windshield front view camera and windshield clips in the, into the bracket. So it tells us the location of it, um, what it's designed to do, um, which vehicles it may even be on. So for example, here are short range uh, radar sensor module. Some vehicles with Super Cruise have two additional short range sensors. So they're giving us a lot of good information on how these systems are designed, um, what their names are, and then where they're located, how they operate. The last piece, and this will work, it can be a really critical piece for collision repair technicians, is the calibration requirements. So we deal first with the component, for example, the front view camera in the windshield. They're going to tell us when that calibration is required. So on this particular camera, when the windshield is replaced, it requires calibration. If the windshield was removed from the bracket and reinstalled, or if the windshield is replaced or removed and reinstalled, after a collision repair or airbag deployment, or following any number of diagnostic trouble codes in the front that are related to the front view camera, calibration will be required. So this is a great tool that you can use during, again, that blueprinting and damage analysis process. I can have the conversation with my customer saying, um, well, we're removing your windshield and because you've got a forward facing camera, this is why we have to recalibrate it following the repairs. Even though we're not touching that camera, we still need to calibrate it. Again, saying we can have that conversation with our customer, we can have that conversation with an insurance adjuster. If, they're, uh, if there's questions around why it needs to be done, this is a fantastic document from General Motors that covers, again, a lot of their advanced driver assistance systems, where they're located, where the cameras are, where the sensors are, and then most importantly, when calibration is required. So a real cool tool from General Motors.